Alright, hey, Hayes Mega here, and welcome to another Hayes Mega RAV4 Prime video, alright? In this video, I'm gonna be going over uh, some different, I went oil shopping is what I did, alright? So I went oil shopping, and these are the oils I found as of this video, which is in, I'm shooting in December 2023, alright? The end of the 2023. Uh, it's time for me to go do an oil change today again, alright? It's two times in one year, it's crazy. I've, I've drove, driven this thing a lot this year, is what I want to say. Um, and uh, and I went shopping to buy various oils and I wanted to see what I already shot a video on how to change your oil All right, and I kind of went over how much I you know how much I paid for the oil and the filter and all that stuff But in this video um, I went shopping for oil and this is what I found locally to where I live All right, I live in the um, in San Jose, California, you know the Bay Area and um, and this is what I found at my local stores all right and and yes, you can get stuff online and stuff. Some of them I did kind of get online. Um, I will let you know how uh, how much uh, how much they cost, you know. And uh, I tried my best to get the cheapest stuff, right? <laughs> That's what I say, all right. Um, so yeah, this is quite quite some interesting stuff, all right. So let, first, let's go take a look at what oils we have. We'll take a closer look at them. Any of these oils I have here should be. Um, you know, usable in your Toyota RAV4 Prime. All right. Okay, so yeah, so these new Toyota vehicles, and more specifically the Toyota RAV4 Prime, use what's called SAE 0W16, all right? So that means uh, colder temperature, it's like a zero weight oil, it's very thin, it's very thin, all right? And, uh, and then when it warms up, it, it becomes, you know, the viscosity becomes more like a 16 weight oil, all right? So the, the tolerances in the engine are very tight, is what we'll say, all right? That's, that's good, I guess, and whatnot. But uh, the, um, the RAV4 Prime was engineered to use this kind of oil, all right? So that's the only oil you should put in. I heard if you cannot get 0W16, you can substitute 0W20, all right? I guess if you live in a in a warmer climate, maybe 0W20 is probably better because it's a little thicker, okay? All right, so, um, so yeah. So 0W16, it's not a very common oil weight is what I wanna say, all right? Um, I thought 0W20 was kind of a weird weight, but 0W16 is even weirder, <laughs> okay? It's, it's, it hasn't been around long, so there's not that many uh, places to get it, all right? And so, um, and that's why I made this video. So, so these are the oils that I was able to gather for my, for this video, all right? So at AutoZone, I was able to find STP, all right? I also heard that there is a Valvoline, but, but my AutoZone doesn't carry it, okay? Um, however, there's something interesting about this one, all right? Anyway, um... I, found, I got this at AutoZone, um, STP, all right, and the STP oil, it was $750, all right, that's how much I paid for it, all right, and then this one I found at Napa, all right, this actually Napa oil, all right, it's Napa branded oil, I got this for $450, wow, what a bargain, that's what I want to say, all right, and, um, and yeah, these were the only 0W16 I could find at those stores, okay, and then uh, we've got the Toyota um, 0W16 oil, all right? That's the that's the good stuff right there, all right? And uh, you can find these for tw about $12 at the dealership, all right? Um, there might be some auto parts stores that stock this. I know some do, maybe, um, but uh, I haven't seen any, <laughs> okay? Um, I do know you can buy uh, oil filters, Toyota oil filters at Walmart, too, but they didn't have the one for my, for my vehicle, so... Um, in stock anyways all right and uh so these are the special special ones right here all right i got this all right black friday was uh pretty much uh uh yeah black friday just kind of just passed and uh toyota has sales on parts during the holidays guys all right it's more specifically this time black friday all right i got a big discount i forgot i think it was like a it was like a 15 or 20 percent discount and then I, I had another like I, I since I um, I order parts from Toyota all, like sometimes um, I got another discount because I had an online account so I had to order this online all right to get the Black Friday special at, from the um, Stevens Creek Toyota all right the Stevens Creek Toyota website that's where I bought my RAV4 and that's where I buy my Toyota parts from um, it's good to support your local Toyota dealer guys um, anyway uh, I got this for $44, okay? 
And then we'll go over the price comparisons later, right? I'm just gonna just kind of, and then we're gonna go take a closer look at each oil, all right? Um, and then this is a uh, one of the the best deals here, guys. Mobile One, all right? I found this at Walmart. Um, I think. Oh, I think uh, AutoZone had this also. AutoZone had this and the quartz, okay? Also, uh, I think normally this is $55, all right? So this is six quartz, all right? There's six of these guys, all right? So it says in there, six, one US quartz. So there's six of these in there, and I got it for $44. Pretty pretty good deal, all right? That's what I wanna say. I'll go over, we'll go over the price breakdown later, okay? Um, and then I got this at Wall Wally World, all right, Walmart. Mobile One Advanced Fuel Economy for Hybrid Vehicles 0W16. I got this for $27 for five quarts. All right, for a five quart jug. And um, and they do they did have this at AutoZone, but it was like $37. Right, typically you can find this for $37. Bucks, so I don't know why it's super cheap at Walmart. So there you go. I think Walmart is probably the best deal. All right, and there's like WalMarts everywhere. Right, so. Hopefully your Walmart carries this oil, all right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go take a closer look at each oil and then we'll go over the price comparison. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, that's the most important part, right? Um, any of these oils should be fine for your Toyota, all right? Um, from what I'd heard is that uh, Toyota oil is really Mobile One oil, all right? Don't, don't quote me on that, all right? I don't know if that's true. But I, what, from what I heard, uh, the Toyota oil is just a rebranded Mobile One oil. Okay, that's I don't know if that's totally true, but that's what I had heard from the internet. Okay, okay, so let's go take a look at each one real closely, and then that'll be uh, and then we'll go over the price, and that'll be end the video. All right, first one we're gonna look at is STP. All right, I, like I said, I got this at AutoZone. Um, I had heard that AutoZone carries Valvoline, but uh, my AutoZone did not ca have it. Okay, um, so there it is. It's in a gray bottle. Similar to the Napa one, it says STP here, all right. It's got a small neck filler, all right. Um, it's, the cap is gold, by the way. <laughs> STP, engineered with anti-wear additives. It's motor oil, SAE 0W16, all right. And it says, uh, here's what STP stands for, guys. Science, technology, and performance, all right. All right, and it's got uh, all the... Uh, all the bottles of oil have this logo here, all right? The American Petroleum Institute SAE 0W16 certified for gasoline engines, all right? So you want that. This is one quart or 946 milliliters. It's a full synthetic oil, okay? There's a little sight window on the side here to tell you, like a, it's like a measuring glass, all right? And there's the back. Um, I'm not gonna, what are we gonna go? Okay, let's go over uh, some of this features here. It has advanced friction modifiers. It reduces engine wear while maintaining fuel economy, antioxidants and cleaning agents. It's a bimetallic detergent, reduces harmful piston deposits leading to ring sticking, uh, corrosion, and corrosion inhibitors, protect against the harmful effects of rust and corrosion. Turbo protection, well, we don't have to worry about that. We don't have a turbo on this vehicle. Maintains the cleanliness of critical turbo components. Yeah, you don't want like your turbo getting all coked up with burnt oil and stuff. Ethanol water guard. Helps prevent the negative effects of ethanol slash water in oil that can lead to engine failure. Okay, I don't know why they mentioned that. Maybe because the gasoline has some ethanol in it. All right, and so these are the standards here that a, um, meets or exceeds the requirements of ILSAC GF6B API SP. All right, I think that's that's the least. Um, the other ones have, they they, they go more, okay? Uh, and then this is manufactured and distributed by, by Best Parts Inc. in Memphis, Tennessee, okay? Um, and then here it says API Service SP, SAE 0W16, Resource Conserving, okay? Boom, there you go. Uh, you know what, we'll probably bust out the uh, um, the owner's manual and see what kind of oil um, the RAV4 okay, takes. Okay, here we okay. got Napa, all right? I, I got this at my local Napa uh, auto parts store. It's hard to find a Napa auto parts nowadays, guys. They're, they're all closing down. I had one close to my house and now it's gone. So I had to go on quite the trek to get this, but this is the only oil that they had. Um, there is a... Uh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. There is another oil that uh, Napa carries, but they don't have the right weight. It's Idemitsu oil. All right, Idemitsu is a. Um, I, I will go over that in the price too. Uh, Idemitsu is like a exotic kind of Japanese brand oil. Okay, guys, and it's expensive. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we got this at Napa Auto Parts. It's full synthetic, ultimate protection and performance. SAE 0 W16 motor oil. All right, it's one quart. Um, it comes in the same color gray bottle. It's got a yellow cap. It's it's got the small filler cap. All right, there's the sight window right there for the measuring. All right, it's got these little dimpled uh, grippers. <laughs> um, all right, let's go take a closer look at the label. Uh, Napa full synthetic motor oil. Superior sludge and varnish protection. Superior high and low temperature protection. All right. It's compatible with all conventional and leading synthetic oils, motor oils, so you can mix it. That's probably what I have to do because I bought only one quart of this. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's a here's the interesting thing, guys. This is developed by Valvoline. So the Napa oil is really Valvoline oil. Alright, so that's why I said, like, yeah, the, those I found something interesting about this. This is actually Valvoline oil. Okay, guys. So I couldn't find the actual Valvoline oil, but I found this, guys. <laughs> All right, there's the same label, API Service SN, uh, SAE 0W16, Resource Conserving. This one says SN Plus on it. The other one doesn't say that. Yeah. So maybe this might be a higher, uh, you know, held to a higher standard type of thing. I would say maybe this is probably better than STP oil, maybe. All right, and this was... Uh, Developed for Napa distribution centers by Valvoline, all right, in Kentucky, all right, so there you go. There's even a little part number down there, all right, part number 75-516, okay. All right, there's that. So, okay, and here we have the Toyota motor oil, all right? This is the oil that you could buy at Toyota for your vehicle. It was engineered, it was made specifically for your Toyota, all right? Here, what I have an open open one, but in here, there's a whole bunch of them, all right? There's a brand new one right there, okay? Um, there's six of them. Okay, so there, this is the one that you buy from Toyota. Um, they're usually like $12 a quart. Um, I actually, I think I actually bought this not at Stevens Creek Toyota because they didn't have any in stock. But anyway, there's a Toyota logo right there. SAE 0W16 synthetic motor oil. Here it's got the little shield. Oh yeah, this one didn't have the little shield thing, huh? Yeah, the Napa, Napa oil didn't have the shield. Uh, it says American Petroleum Institute SAE 0W16 certified for gasoline engines. All right, one quart. 2020 Toyota motor sales. Okay, so maybe that's when they came out with the 0W16 oil standard, guys. <laughs> um, and uh, here's the little sight glass for the measurement. I, I've got about half a bottle left. Um, here's the part number up here. All right, 00279-16QTE. I actually, it was very difficult to order this online <laughs> because you need that, you need that that uh, that number, all right, but but the one I ordered, I, I was wondering how many I was gonna get, and I actually didn't even know. It doesn't tell you how many you get, all right. But I was pleasantly surprised. I got, I got six of them. Okay, so I think that's that's pretty good for forty four bucks. All right, here we get the Toyota logo. It says okay, it says API SP zero W sixteen synthetic motor oil. Uh, Toyota Genuine Motor Oil SAE 0W16 is an API SP premium product. API Service SP here, SAE 0W16, resource conserving. All right, tested and approved by Toyota. All right, so, uh, meets or exceeds all Toyota warranty requirements. There you go. Um, provides outstanding protection. I don't know if that they can say like, oh, because you use this kind of oil, you damaged your engine, we're not gonna, um, <laughs> you know, do you, I don't know how they can check <laughs> what oil you put in your vehicle. Anyway, it provides outstanding protection in all other gasoline engines requiring API SP, SN Plus, and SN. So you have to have. So so the the Toyota oil. These are the sta these are the standards that you want your oil to meet. All right, and um, and let me see. Let's compare it to the other two. All right, so 
This one, this one meets API SN, all right? Now there's SN and API, they combined it. API SN with SN Plus, all right? Resource, so I would say this is good, all right? The, the, that meets all those requirements, all right? And then this one is different. This one says ILSAC on it, ILSAC 6 GF. That's another kind of standard and API SP. API SP, okay? So, uh, but the, the SCP has the least standards is what I wanna say, okay? Oh yeah, so the Toyota oil also has a bigger mouth opening, okay? Compared to the other bottles, if that matters to you. The oil will go out faster. <laughs> All right, and it says, uh, don't pollute, conserve resources, um, return used oil to collection centers. Mm. And that's it, it's pretty, uh, not a lot of stuff, all right? And it says it's distributed by Toyota Motor Sales. Uh, their headquarters is in Plano, Texas. Where this actually comes from, I don't know. We, we don't know, all right, guys? But from, rumor has it that this is actually Mobile One, okay? Okay, so and check here it out. we have Mobile One, all right? I got this for $27 at Wally World. Mobile One logo here. This is a five quart jug or 4.73 liters, all right? Um, and um, this is another, you know, form that you can get the oil in, all right, these big jugs, all right. Um, advanced fuel economy, suitable for hybrid vehicles, so it was designed for hybrid vehicles, so you know the RAV4 Prime, it's hybrid, so. Uh, it protects for 10,000 miles, guaranteed, asterisk, we'll figure out what the asterisk means later. Advanced full synthetic motor oil, it's NASCAR official motor oil, all right. Um, triple action formula, SAE 0W16, there's the shield, all right? Um, three of these four oils have this shield logo, all right? It's the uh, American Petroleum Institute SAE 0W16, certified for gasoline engines, all right? Here's the back. Mobile One, advanced fuel economy, engineered to help enhance fuel economy. There's a little thing that's, I know, I'll, I'll, it looks like all of these uh, oil bottles have some kind of QR code on it also. So I guess if you want to scan it, they all do. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little QR code. I noticed that. So maybe we'll scan it sometime. <laughs> all right, but yeah, that, that's, the, but this one has the big, oh, there's one, a small one right here too. Okay, uh, triple action formula. Uh, performance, help increase engine efficiency, protection, excellent low temperature capabilities for fast startup protection, all right? That's at zero W, okay? Uh, cleanliness, extra additives to help fight sludge, all right? It doesn't mention about not, not keeping your engine cool, but that's actually one of the things engine oil does. It also helps cool your engine also, okay? Um, but what, you know, it, it um, Okay, so it meets or exceeds the requirements of ILSAC GF6B, all right? So that's the same one that uh, that was on the STP bottle, all right? Also, API SP, all right, let's get this one out again. API SP, API SP, SN Plus, and SN, huh? What, what a coincidence, it, it meets the exact same requirements as the Toyota oil, all right? Also, this ILSAC. Well, I, so my guessing is this oil standard came after this oil came out, all right? Um, for, uh, so maybe there might be some other ma brand manufacturer that's using this oil. Okay, uh, it says here, for information, a Mobile One limited warranty. Oh, this is the asterisk park, I, I think. Um, engine guarantee, visit the mobile.us recommended for select Honda and Toyota engines, all right? So yeah, some Hondas use this type of oil, all right? Designed to operate on a 0W16 viscosity motor oil. Protects for 100,000 miles or one year, whichever comes first. Compared to Mobile One API SN Plus mobile uh, motor oil, okay? Uh, this bottle contains recycled plastic. Man, this has the most stuff on it. Um, manufactured in a zero waste to landfill facility. Um, there's the uh, Mobile One. Nelly, I think is what it's called. That's the name of the, the, um, the horse, the flying horse. <laughs> Made in the USA from domestic or imported components. It says don't pollute here. Man, there's a lot of stuff to read in here. Uh, uh. Exxon Mobile Oil Corporation, Spring, Texas. All right, there you go. Spring, Texas, uh, well, Exxon, it just says Texas, TX, I think. 
All right. A Pegasus. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's a Pegasus, guys. Yeah, flying horse. Pegasus. Okay. Uh, so there's also this little seal here. API service SP SAE 0W16 resource conserving. Okay. So, so yeah, all the same stuff. This, all of that. All right. Um, let, let's see. Let's see. I'll uh, compare all of these other ones. All right. So that one definitely will be good for your Toyota. All right, because it's designed for Hondas and Toyotas, guys. Let's see what standards all of these conform to. All right. So these are. This is the standard right here, because because this is what your your vehicle was designed to run on. All right. <laughs> so there's that Ilsac. This one doesn't doesn't do that. Um, but this one has a uh, API SN, API, there's no API SN, but there's a SN plus, and then SN, it's close enough. <laughs> API SN with SN, API SN plus SN, all right, with SN plus, okay, so, so yeah, it's, they're, they're all kind of a little bit different, but coincidentally, the Mobile One covers all the, it, it, all the st same stuff in the same order as the Toyota Oil, that's, that leads me to believe that the Toyota oil is really Mobile One, all right, guys? <laughs> and they're both in Texas. What a coincidence. The Toyota headquarters in Texas also, all right? Okay, and the final part of the video will be which one is the best bang for your buck, all right? Or, or, or the price comparison, okay, guys? So um, I'll tell you now, the best one, all right? Surprise, guys. Napa. All right, the Napa oil was 450, 450 for a synthetic oil. All right, fully fully synthetic. Yep, that's the good stuff. All right, 450. The Napa. Oh, and we're we're gonna do the price comparison by quart. All right, guys. But I will go over like how much how how the breakdown is for the for the jug. Okay. Um, and I did look I did look at some other price stuff and I, I didn't buy it. All right. So, but yeah, 450. The Napa one wins the for for being the the least expensive right uh the second best was the mobile one ding ding all right the one the five quart jug all right it was the second cheapest all right um you get you, it was the best bang for your buck i'm not going to call it cheapest the best bang for your buck all right um 540 a quart at walmart all right i just went to walmart and i just bought this for 27 dollars. what a bargain that's what i to say that is super cheap, all right? I have seen this. Yeah, you can find this for about 37 to 40 dollars at different auto parts store. Like uh, I think AutoZone had this for 37, all right? At for now at 37 dollars, it's 7.40 a quart, all right? Which makes it about as expensive, all right? So yeah, like I said, I went I I took the 5 quarts and I divided it. I divided 27 by 5 and that gives me 5.40 a quart, okay? So this is the second best deal, all right? Okay, so coming in at number three, all right. Now this is a kind of an odd one, all right. Toyota six quart Black Friday deal, forty four dollars, all right. I got this for forty four dollars, which equates to seven thirty three a quart. It just barely beat out the STP oil, all right. Just barely, all right. And this is the you know the real deal, the stuff that your your vehicle was you know that Toyota recommends you use their oil. <laughs> okay, so seven thirty three a quart. That's a pretty good deal. So on Black Friday, or um, if you're if you're gonna be changing your oil soon, and there's a holiday coming up, more specifically Black Friday, you can if you order it online, you can get a good deal on Toyota oil. I'll, I did pick this up at my local Toyota dealer. All right, um, yeah, I didn't have them ship it to me. So okay, and then uh, the so that's number three actually, and so in fourth place is STP. All right. The STP came in at 750. All right. Um, I, okay. So now I did check uh, prices for the mobile one. The uh, I shoot you not the um, at Walmart. It's nine dollars a quart for this guy. All right. So that comes in fifth. Nine dollars. Close. Pretty much close to ten. I've seen it anywhere from from nine to twelve dollars. All right. I think AutoZone was close to twelve dollars. It was like eleven fifty. So that's actually about as ex expensive as Toyota oil, all right? The Toyota L oil was $12 a quart at my local dealership, right? When I did, the last time I did an oil change. 
Just another one I found online. I could not find this oil anywhere. I, I, I do know that uh, uh, Napa carries Idemitsu oil, all right? But on uh, Idemitsu oil from Amazon was $45, all right? All right? If you can get that with the free shipping deal, um, you're looking at paying, oh yeah, this is all without the tax guys, I think. Um, and it's a nine, nine, that's like $9 a quart, all right? So that's somewhere, somewhere in the middle, all right? It, it's, it's up there with the mobile, it's about as expensive as the mobile one, all right? Like I mentioned, Idemitsu is like some kind of exotic Japanese oil, or right? it's more common in Japan. Okay, and there's also, I do know that Ineos, all right, another exotic Japanese oil, sells 0W16 as well, all right? I did not check the price for that one. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna go over it again. Cheapest, first place. Uh, uh, which one is the best bang for your buck? Napa oil, all right, which is actually Valvoline, all right, is 450 a quart. Uh, second place was the Wally World Mobile One oil, all right, the Wal Walmart oil, in the five quart jug at uh, at 540 a quart. Okay, third place was uh was the black friday special all right black friday special uh toyota oil all right i bought six quarts for 44 bucks so it comes out to 733 all right fourth place uh fourth place was stp all right and then fifth place is the toyota oil the toyota oil and the mobile one of coincidence the mobile one oil and the mobile the mobile one quart and the Toyota single core almost cost the same, all right? So that leads me to believe the Toyota oil is actually the Mobile One oil, all right? But I don't know, like I said, I don't know that totally, okay? All right, and there you have it. This is the Hades Omega December 2023 uh, 0W16 oil shootout, all right? For the Toyota RAV4, all right? Um, I think any one of these oils will be fine to use in your Toyota RAV4 Prime, all right? even maybe the hybrids and whatever, you know, whatever vehicles use 0W16. Your vehicle was made for this kind of oil, all right? In my opinion, which one uh, followed the, you know, the, the requirements and the standards as close to the Toyota oil is, surprise, the Mobile One oil, all right? Now, like I said, I think the Toyota oil is the Mobile One oil, all right? But I don't know 100%, all right? So don't quote me on that. Um, but I'm sure the Napa was the cheapest, all right? So. There you go, Napa carries the cheapest 0W16 oil. Very, I know, very, for a synthetic oil, that's a that's a really good deal, that's what I wanna say. Uh, maybe the oil prices has come down, I don't know, man, <laughs> but. Okay, um, so I was able to get all, yeah, these are the, all the oils I was able to get locally, all right? Um, like I mentioned, there's still Idemitsu and Ineos, all right? I know you can get Idemitsu on Amazon. Ineos, you can get Ineos at, uh, at napa but they don't have that oil all right maybe you can have them order it for you and then pick it up there all right so that's one way you could do it you can order and pick up at your local store all right they might carry it and yeah that that's one way to quickly shop for the best price is to just look online and then have it shipped to your local auto parts store or whatever auto parts store has the best price so that's my suggestion okay but um the i think the mobile one is like the best deal all right Mobile One is the best deal. If you can get this stuff on sale, um, that's probably the next best deal, all right? Um, I think, and then um, and then the cheapest is the Napa, all right? I don't know how good the Napa oil is. Like I said, it's actually Valvoline oil, guys. <laughs> and, and yes, oh, there is there is the Valvoline, all right? I was not able to get Valvoline, I was not able to acquire Valvoline locally where I live. So, um, I mean, they do have Valvoline, but they don't have it in this weight oil, okay? So, um, but, Surprise, the Napa oil is actually Valvoline oil, okay? So um, if you if you want the, the most inexpensive oil for your Toyota RAV4 Prime, Napa oil is the one, all right? But what does Hades Omega recommend? All of them, I guess. All of them, but I would say either the Mobile One or the Toyota oil, all right? That's probably the, that's the, that's the, the ones that was designed for your vehicle, all right? Specific, yeah, and um, also, uh, Mobile One has the most stuff on the label. <laughs> the Mobile One, you know, this guy, we looked at the box label. All right, it's got a really big mouth too. Um, it's got 
the most stuff on the label it says it's for hybrids it says it's for toyotas and hondas all right so you can't go wrong with the mobile one oil all right so i think hades mega's um favorite pick is the mobile one hades mega is kind of like a mobile one fan too I, I do like the mobile one brand all right but you know in the end it's like kind of brand loyalty <laughs> all of these motor oils will be fine for your vehicle right but the one i guess hades mega recommends the most is probably the mobile one it's cheaper and it meets all the same standards as the Toyota oil, um, like to the T, to the T, okay? It's designed for hybrids. It's designed to be used in Toyotas and it's, it's I mean, it's approved to be used in Toyotas and Hondas for 10,000 miles, all right? So, so there you go. So this is the one that Hayes Mega would recommend you get the most, all right? Um, but it's not the cheapest, all right? It's pretty close if you get it at Wally World though. So if you can find this at Wall, uh, Walmart for $27, stock up, you know. Um, this is probably enough oil to last me a year or two, <laughs> I just want to say, all right? Remember, the Toyota RAV4 Prime gets 10,000 mile oil change intervals, all right? And, and yes, I get a lot of people commenting about like uh, oil change intervals, all right? I'll go address that real quick right In now. In the warranty and maintenance guide, it recommends you change the oil every 10,000 miles, guys, all right? That, that's, what, that's how this vehicle was engineered, all right? Now, if you have another vehicle, you know, like a BMW or something, it, maybe it'll be different, all right? But this vehicle, Toyota RAV4 Prime, was engineered to go 10,000 mile oil change intervals, all right? And that's what I'm gonna stick to. Now, if you're, now it does say probably you probably should change your oil more often if you're if you're using it for like heavy duty use like towing stuff that Hades Mega does. <laughs> well, like I mentioned, um, even the regular Prius is 10,000 mile or intervals. This vehicle is like part electric vehicle, all right? And depending on how much you drive it in EV mode, the engine isn't gonna run as much, all right? So uh, I I. I think this is one of those vehicles that truly it can go in 10,000 miles, all right? Now, I'm not gonna lie, there is also, um, they also say that you should run the, the gas engine every once in a while. And your your RAV4 Prime will fire up that gas engine at random times. If you just, you, you're just driving on the freeway and you notice the gas engine just turns on every once in a while, it's trying to circulate that oil, it's trying to circulate that fuel so it doesn't go stale. You know, it keeps it keeps things lubricated, all right? Um, that's the drawback to having a gasoline generator on your vehicle, you know? You gotta run it every once in a while, all right? Um, yeah, oh, so, so uh, but there isn't one thing I have heard that if you are driving your car in EV mode all the time, um, you, can, um, you can build up water in your oil, all right? That it happens, condensation gets in the, gets in the crankcase and all that stuff and you got to get that oil out and the only way to really um, you got to get that water out you don't want a lot of water accumulating in there and to do that you run the engine at its operating temperature all right and um and then it evaporates that water all right before it hopefully before it mixes with the with the um with the oil <laughs> you don't you don't want water on your oil guys all right water and oil they they don't mix and when they do they don't play nice all right they, it becomes like a milkshake all right if you ever blown a head gasket and you know you know they get that milkshake stuff it's it's not good all right guys so so yes um you should uh you should run your vehicle in hybrid mode every once in a while in my opinion all right so so that doesn't happen uh it, it happens more specifically in like cool cold climates all right if you if you live in the place where it snows or it gets very very cold make sure you run the gas engine every once so i think no matter what it'll run the gas engine because in lower temperatures it uses the engine some more okay so i want to say okay anyway yeah so that is that is uh one that is my uh that is my hades omega's opinion that you should change your oil at a hundred thousand miles all right so i think if you're doing it less than a hundred thousand five thousand three thousand miles you're just wasting your money guys <laughs> okay um ten thousand is the recommended service intervals that's what it says in the book, all right? Um, if, but if you want to change it 3,000 and 5,000 miles, be my guest. It's, you're just flushing your money down the toilet, all right? And you're just using up more oil, all right? Okay. So thanks for watching. That is the uh, Hades Omega oil shootout for, for December 
2023 all right who knows what other oils will be out in the future hopefully uh, right now there's only really a handful of them okay um, I think what other oils are out there pens oil all right I didn't see any pens oil um, there, there's all this, the store brands like the O'Reilly oil and the uh, freaking the AutoZone oil. Well, surprisingly, Napa, <laughs> Napa, the one of the store oils, store, um, is one that makes it for the Rav4 Prime. Okay, so okay, thanks for watching. Hey, let's make out.